Hi, my name is Bill Cody, and I'm going to be talking about uh, my CSS grid unit that uh, I've been working on all of this uh, short summer semester. Um, the first question, we're supposed to talk about uh, what we might do to, uh, to change it and to improve it. Uh, do the tasks yield appropriate evidence of the identified understandings? In my case, I do think that uh, the, the overall goal of the, uh, the unit is to, for the students to write a working uh, web page using grid uh, layout, and uh, it's a performance-based task. Uh, it'll be pretty obvious whether or not they can do it or not. Uh, we, we can look at the final web page to see whether or not it meets the, the, uh, the, the look uh, and function that it's supposed to have. And we can look at the code and see whether or not it uses uh, grid layout. So in that sense, uh, we're, we're, I think we're right on target with this. One thing that's very interesting, though, is in the early teaching of uh, any computer language, you have to teach the syntax. And I was thinking about uh, having some kind of rapid fire um, setup so that the the, uh, the students would be able to uh, differentiate, you know, what is the syntax versus what is not. The top line here is the actual syntax. The uh, bottom line is something I would think is uh, a reasonable idea of what the syntax might be, <laughs> but is not, and uh, kind of fire these at the students very rapidly and and, and have them select the correct one. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. I think we need an experiment to see whether or not uh, um, showing them other things is a bad idea or whether or not uh, they might, uh, I tend to overthink and uh, when I'm sitting down coding uh, it's like, what was it, grid template rows or is it set rows or, or is it color or is it font color and so um, it may be that uh, some kind of memorization aid uh, might be useful and I think we should do an experiment uh, about that within the unit. Uh, do the tasks involve complex real-world authentic application and yes in fact they do. Again the students are designing a real live working web page. Um, they're dev they're uh, designing this page to uh, specifications that are giving to, given to them and these are exactly the kinds of real-world tasks that web page designers take on uh, take on every day. Uh, are a variety of appropriate assessment formats used? Well, uh, again, we have one big final assessment, which is uh, making the, the web page, which is the whole point of the, of the thing. So in that sense, yes. Whether or not the formative assessments uh, are, are getting us closer to that goal, uh, we would have to see within the units. There might be some, uh, there might be some opportunity for change there. Are the students given an opportunity to self-assess and reflect upon their learning and performance? And I would say um, yes, and I, I'm going to qualify this one. Uh, it, the instructor is going to really have to, uh, to, to push this. Uh, there's plenty of uh, opportunities to uh, collaborate within the unit. Uh, the students use GitHub, which is a, a collaborative uh, um, software repro repository and also the uh, the lessons are going to use Scrimba which allows the uh, the teacher to collaborate with the uh, students in real time so the students certainly have a lot of uh, opportunity to collaborate and hopefully this will uh, and, and see what other people are doing so I hope that gives them the opportunity for self-assessment and reflection but I guess it's not necessarily true that they will so the instructor is going to have to be careful to, uh, to uh, kind of push that uh, in the students a little bit. So that's, uh, that's what I have for my CSS uh, grid unit. I hope, you, uh, I hope you've all enjoyed the semester and uh, thank you for your feedback and I hope you'll have some more feedback for this part of the lesson as well. Uh, so long and have a great rest of your summer.